The next thing I want to do is to double the amount of clips by using mirroring. And I'm going to use a pretty manual workflow here. And in uh, reproduction, I will probably automate it. But I don't want to make it too complicated either because this is a beginner course. So let's see. So I'm going to drop down an agent edit first. And then I'm going to select the clip that I want to mirror. And in this case, I want to have a walk one. So this one. And then I'm going to have an agent animation unpack. And by default, that is on pose. And I'm not going to set it to motion clip just yet. And uh, as you might remember, to be able to add it to the agent, you need to have it as a motion clip. But just because the node we're going to use, which is rig mirror pose, just works on poses, then I need to do this first, and then I'm going to convert it to a motion clip and then add it. So you can see already it's working. Brilliant. And then we have a motion clip node. So now we have it converted to a motion clip. And everything seems fine. We need to have an agent clip. So we can add it back. Like so. And here, let's go to motion clip. And then call it mirror. And you can see we can go here and select the mirror clip. And that looks a bit rubbish. The reason for this is that we haven't given the rig mirror pose a very good starting point. So it's very confused. It tried to do its best, but it just can't figure it out. A lot of times you can just help it by changing this position threshold. But for this clip, it just doesn't work. And let's analyze why it doesn't work. And it doesn't work because ideally the no wants a rest pose. So you can see in the menu here, it's looking for a rest pose and it does that on frame one, which is specified up here. In our case, we don't have a rest frame. What you could do is to connect a rest pose and override one of the frames with a switch, for example. But most of the time I find that you just need to find a frame that isn't too messed up. So instead of doing something much more complicated, let us just drag the slider here and see if we can find something. And you can see, and we went here, it managed to figure it out. So let's not try to add a rest post. Let's just use this. Sweet. All right, so let's copy these guys. So we need one for the idle. And let's see if we drag the idle to this one. So that seems to work. And let's do the third one. Should be an idle to walk. So idle to walk. Let's check that clip. And it also seems to work. Sweet. One thing that is a bit annoying, even though I said this would be manual, it, it is a bit annoying that I can just add one motion clip at a time. So then I need to add three agent clip nodes to add each clip. And we don't want to do that. It's actually a better way to do it. There are actually two different type of motion clips, like you can see in the menu for the agent animation unpack. Regular ones and packed motion clips. When you take a look at a motion clip in a spreadsheet, you'll find that it's actually the combination of multiple packed primitives. Each packed geometry has a time sample, which most of the time is for each frame, but it doesn't have to be. With packed motion clips, the only difference is that you pack everything twice. So first the packed geometry for each time sample, and then all of the time samples packed into one clip. The agent clip node has an option to read in all the clips once as packed motion clips. What we need to do though, is we need to give each clip a name, otherwise you won't be able to figure it out. I was gonna use this configure clip info, and for this, I'm gonna connect these two I'm going to set a clip name. So this was a walk, so I'm going to call this walk2. And then let's copy that. And here, this was idle, so I'm going to call that idle2. And the last one, I'm going to call this idle to walk2. And we can connect all these guys. Let's just connect them to this. And then we can check this option, pack inputs. So now when I do that, you can see I just have three pack geometries. And then I can take this one, I can select this treat pack primitive as inputs. And you can see now I can't select the name because it expects to get the names from these packed inputs. And I connect these guys and here, you can see now we have idle2, we have walk2, and we have idle to walk2. Cool, so now we have six clips instead of three. 